Hey yo guys, welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews and today you're getting our first impressions of A Complex of Cages by Baron Earth. Alright, so Baron Earth is a band that neither of us are very familiar with at all. We actually just saw their single for this album, The Ruby, in our recommended list. We decided to watch that video and we liked it. We liked it, but when the song first started, I was just kind of like, man, whatever. But then as the song progressed and, and kept playing, I was like, oh, oh, it's actually kind of digging this. Then I listened to it again after, and it, it grew on me really fast. I freaking love that song. The Ruby is an amazing song. Agreed. I went back and listened to Baron Earth's previous album, and eh, it's got some highs, but mostly lows for me. I didn't really like the album that much. It's tolerable but nothing about it. Like, The Ruby is definitely a way better song than anything on that last album, which I can't remember the name I of. I believe right it was now. called On Lonely, On Lonely Towers. Right. I generally, I checked that album out as well. I was generally enjoying it. Like, I put it yeah. on, I'm like, yeah, this is this is solid. Like, I can put this on and just be totally fine with it. Yeah, but, uh, it but I also love The Ruby. I think that song is incredible, so I really hope that uh, the songs on this album are going to um, give me the same reaction as the Ruby did. Yeah, so we're gonna go listen to it for the first time in its entirety from beginning to end, and we'll be back to let you guys know exactly what we think about it, so stay put. All right guys, we're back. We just listened to the album in its entirety. I'm gonna hand the floor over to TV Fish. Uh, let us know what your first impressions are. All right, so my first impressions, unfortunately, aren't looking too good, because this album was kind of boring. And I don't want to take much away from the band because they're talented musicians and their music is good. Like a lot of things in this album were just good. There's nothing on this album that said, uh, this song is just bad, like badly written. It's just that a lot of it kind of felt like filler. A lot of it just felt like there's nothing grabbing me. This is interesting music. This is cool for me to probably put on in the background, but it's not something that's really like, wow, like jumps right out at me. Like the Ruby did for both of us. There was a song though, Zeal. I liked that song a lot. I thought the piano was cool. I liked the transition from the intro into the groove was really well done. Mm -hmm. And I liked that song. The problem is, and this happens with a few of the songs, the song ends, like ends, and then keeps going. It's like you could have ended the song at this one point, yeah. but then added an extra like minute or two on it. Which unnecessary. Didn't even need to. Unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. And it's even more evident with the song before that, which was the further down. Song literally stops. And then this little salsa bit starts. I'm like, why Why is this, why? You don't need to do that. If you ended the song there, it would have been a solid song. So when I say it was boring, it was only really in the later half. Like Solitude Pit, that's like a 10 minute song. The whole song, there's just nothing. It's just a filler. It's just like... There's about a minute of filler in every song, and then that whole song <laughs> being over 10 minutes is all filler. Yeah, if you thing. took all that out, you'd have probably a 35 to 40 minute album but with all that, with, with decent content, yeah, but with all that in there, you're looking at an hour of boredom at, to an extent. Yeah, like the, the longer the album went on, like my notes were just getting more and more thin, just like, what do I have to write about it? Yeah. Oh, there was a cool solo there, there's a cool solo in, um, what, in Dysphoria, I like that. Yeah, but like, that. other than that, there wasn't really much notable about that song. One thing I will note is that this is a very progressive album, and all that came from a prog fan. <laughs> a prog fan. I'm, I'm wearing a fucking Dream Theater shirt and I'm yeah. saying that. Cause it's just, there's not that much that's really like jumping out into my eyes really. I but I appreciate the technicality of it. Of course, you gotta appreciate that. It's, that's objective. You gotta appreciate that. But for me, like prog metal out of all the genres of metal, prog is probably the one that I have the hardest time really getting into. I mean, I've given it a chance many, many times, and I can get into certain parts and things here and there, but this just was not good for me. This reminded me a lot of Dream Theater, reminded me a lot of Opeth. I'm not fans of either of those bands for my own reasons, but it reminded me of those. We just did an album, uh, a proggy album review for Angra, for Omni, and we gave that to Toe Tag, but that album was a little less proggy than this. That album was like proggy, but only half proggy and it was a lot of like power metal and other different genres kind of infused this is definitely prog metal to me and it's just not good to me but this is a first impressions i like to reserve my my 
final opinions, obviously, for when we actually review the album next week. But, I don't know, I'm not looking forward to it. Like you said, it was for you it was boring. How do you think I felt? <laughs> I was bored, man. There was, there, was, there was one song on this album that I like, and that's The Ruby. That song is phenomenal. And I didn't have to listen to that song multiple times to like it. I liked it the first time I heard it. It had to grow on me during the song. Like when it first started, like I said, I was like, eh. And then it got good as it went on. Now I love the song. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that other songs on this album start to do that to me because we're gonna listen to this album all week. And that's all I'm gonna listen to. Even though I'm bored of it, I have to give it the, the utmost chance and the most thorough chance to make sure that you know, I'm giving it the, the chance it deserves. Because that's what we do when we, when we uh, review albums. We give albums chances. Now, despite how I said this album's boring, I think this definitely has good potential to grow. Because, like I said, there were moments I did enjoy. I'm not right. saying that I hated this album. I'm not saying that in the slightest. Yeah. And as a prog fan, there were parts where I'm like, ooh, that was, like, slick. There was a lot of parts that did. Yeah. Just overall, there was nothing too special. But, like, moments like the songs like Zeal, Etc. Um, I like those and I'm actually kind of excited to listen to those again because what was good was really good It just dragged on too long for me. Yeah, what I found in that sense is that kind of like the middle chunk of every song was Entertaining, but the intros leading up to it were just drab and the outros were just felt unnecessary I, I think but the intro deal was good. The intros in certain songs were decent like I pointed when we were listening to it, I pointed out that piano I was like this is actually good. This is selling setting a nice tone for the melody I really like the tone of the, the keyboard or the piano. I like it. I like stuff like that. But that song took about three minutes before the fucking main group kicked in. Three yeah, minutes. It's a bit long of an Three intro. minutes of intro before the song actually kicks in and gets to be sound like an actual song. And then you get this chunk of maybe like a minute to two minutes, maybe three minutes, depending on the length of the song, of good content. Decent content. Content you can groove to and, and rock to. And then all of a sudden it trails off again into some weird proggy type of basically time filler in my opinion. But you know what? I don't know. I want to know what you guys think, to be honest. This is a band that's not well known. You guys might not know who this band is, but if you guys, you know, like our channel, like our videos and stuff like that, we like when you guys listen to what we listen to and give us your thoughts and opinions on it as well. So do that in the comments. Check the album out and let us know what you think. And uh, we'll be back next week after listening to this album multiple times to uh, give you guys our final review. So that's it for this video, I think. Yep, so guys, remember to like if you liked it. Comment, tell us what you thought. Subscribe if you're new to the channel because we got all much more metal content coming to you very soon. I'm TV Fish. File Self. We'll see you guys later. later.